Hi everybody, it's me again. Here's a quick GSX video to answer some questions I hear quite a lot from users. Um, parked here, requested deboarding, just landed at Palmer. Um, and this happens quite a lot, it happened on the new NGXU and PMDG that the, uh, the cargo belt would arrive at the door and then just sit there and do nothing. Uh, this one is also another problem. Wrong loader, should be a belt here, of course. And also it's a line for nowhere near the cargo door. How do you fix that? It's really easy. I recommend using, sorry, reading the GSX manual. It's so simple and it's worth learning, but of course you can watch this video, I'll just show you. So we go to the drop down menu, GSX, customize aircraft. This little pop up box will come up. Uh, we need to just the cargo number one here. Now the problem is here when they're in the right position but don't do any actions is if you click on the cargo door here, just get rid of this door with open close checks as door number two. Get rid of that. Just use the second option which is door open, sorry, door without open check, close checks. Okay, and you can customize it in the editor here. Uh, it's more or less in the right position, but you can fine-tune this. When you edit, you're in slew mode. So I can't pan around here, but if I use my slew controls for up, up, down, forward, back, I can move that exit around. If, if you're not happy with where it's aligned, you can move it around and use F1 and F4 to move it up and down. If I just hit Y now, because I'm essentially in slew mode, which is edit mode, if I hit Y I come out of the edit mode, now I can pan around, I can zoom in a bit more let's go in a little bit more here let's see, you can really fine tune where the exit is let's have a look now in there. that looks pretty good to me okay that's good so hit Y again, exit that let's go sort out the back door Two things to sort out here the position so we're presuming it's cargo number two that's not always the case you have to just click and check again get rid of that door with open close checks number two but door without open close checks then it will just come up to the door where you set it manually and perform the touch customizing 3d entity well i've got auto here and it's giving me a cargo lo loader for a 737-200 so let's go on manual and we want a belt. Customize it. Let's move the position to about there. And I'm just going to rotate that because you can see it's not aligned with the fuselage. Maybe a little bit. That's it. And you know, if the slew moves, uh, moves are too big for you, um, you want to fine tune it a little bit more. Back to the editor. And you can edit the the meters and if you just hover above these it says lateral position in meters relative to the center one meters 20 away from the center and of course then you have the um, from the center backwards or forward and then you have the height you can adjust those values by trial and error all right that's good I'll just click anywhere there that's saved you don't need to do anything that automatically saves let's go through the process again GSX, customize aircraft. Great, it's already open. Um, and it says here aircraft data used. It's, this will save this profile in app data virtual aircraft. There you go, that's it. Now, uh, what I'm going to do now is just check the other doors. Is the passenger door? No, I want it to open. Good. I'll go main, good, nothing there. should be so that's no door at this position packs number four so if I wanted to use stairs here I don't have that door set as a position could do on there no door we want a door customize hmm. and you can see well you can't see I'll just pan out a little you can see that arrive somewhere at the front of the aircraft. Let's go back through that process there. 
Maybe because the passengers are bored in here. There we go. That was a bit strange. Don't know what happened. Um, okay, so we want a door there. Customize it. And patch number four. That's way over in the middle of the aircraft. So we can just move that to where I want it. And then F4. F4 want to go up there we go needs to rotate a bit again we can fine-tune but I'm just showing you the the main functions of this here so good there we go we've got now all the doors should be good and then of course we can move the service door which will be over on this side of the aircraft Oops. so now you know how it works pretty simple open up the editor um, click on the door you want, edit it, close this editor down or exit the editor and it's saved. Service door once, it's a little bit too low. Okay, that would be better somewhere there. Just Y to exit, back door. You can see, no, there was no door set there, so that's good would have wanted it to service and nothing would have happened it's a bit confusing sometimes with the keys um, so there we go we've got that good rotate it all right that's good enough for enough. now if we just quickly here now let's go out of that editor good so was the tricky part reset GSX let's see if that works just have to wait a few moments here so video is done, you can just watch uh, the, the other minute here just to see, I'm going to just check if it has worked or not. And I know it will have worked done it a ton of times now, just have to wait for GXX to reload up. There we go, request the boarding, and these as before, let's see what happens. Now we should have baggage loader. Baggage over the back there it comes. Belt. Perfect. Yep, there he is. Now he's working. Now he's getting out doing his work. You see he's a little close to the engine there, walking through the engine. So if I wanted to fine tune I'd probably just move this belt loader a little bit more towards the nose and maybe rotate away from the nose. There we go. That's too high, but we know how to work it. Excellent, there you go. These little issues fixed. Pretty easy to do. Thanks for watching.